boy from a picture of, uh, I believe her name was Gallagher, and she shows up in pictures with everybody in the family, very close to the Driscoll family, and I, I think probably was in, engaged to my dad, and then she moved to Omaha. On the front porch with the Driscolls and the Brennans and Frank Flanagan and Grandpa Driscoll in front of her, uh, Mrs. Gallagher and Dad and Brennan, uh, Miss Gallagher uh, with uh, Butter Driscoll and his sister Fritz. Uh, he's he's sporting her, but she she shows up in pictures with everybody else in the family too. But she was obvious at the Columbia Gardens, and I think that Dad and this girl were uh, were uh, an item. But he was still going to sing amongst one of the flower arrangements up at the Columbia Gardens. This is the way I remember the gardens. It was often uh, in uh, about 1920 while he was still going to school and uh, at the Columbia Gardens and uh, in, uh, amongst the flower arrangements at the Columbia Gardens in about 1920. Driscoll and his father, uh, John Driscoll. Uh, this was taken just a few years before Grandpa Driscoll died. What kind of a car this was, but I think it was a Maxwell and it's sit, sitting parked out in front of Grandpa Driscoll's house. I'm waiting on the, on the running board of the car and I think this was taken just uh, a few years before he died on his way to And uh, Ms. Gallagher taken up at the Columbia Gardens. That's where a lot of the families went when they had time. That Fritz and everybody else in the family was very close to this lady. And I, she is really a mystery to me because nobody would. Ms. Gallagher with Uncle Bill Driscoll, probably taken about 1922 or thereabouts. Uh, she was, her picture was taken with everybody in the family. So she was more than, as I said, just a friend. At the Columbia Gardens, uh, Pat and Fritz Kane on the left, and uh, Ms. Gallagher on the right. Had probably finished medical school by this time and uh, was practicing medicine in Butte. They helped, uh, probably by one of the dams, but I'm not sure where, where or when. Uh, taken probably in the early 1920s, I'm sure about 1920. Bill Driscoll, Ms. Gallagher. Grandpa Dr Bill Driscoll, Miss uh, Gallagher, uh, Grandpa Driscoll, and Fritz Kane. I have no idea what the old Driscoll uh, with Ms. Gallagher, uh, taken also up at the Columbia Gardens, also about nine. It was ever taken of the brother and sisters, uh, Jewel Layden on the left, Bill Driscoll, and Fritz Kane. Kane and Fritz Kane, when Pat had finished uh, medical school, the picture is obviously taken up at uh, Driscoll about the time he finished pharmacy school. Before the 1920s, uh, one on the right is uh, Bill Driscoll, probably when he was going to pharmacy school. Obviously a student somewhere, and I, uh, he went to school at the University of Montana. Bill on the left, and she got old, and the one on the right is uh, Granny Kane. And this picture was taken in the yard of Fritz Kane's house up on West Coffer Street, uh, probably in the 1920s. Ever seen of Bill and May Driscoll when they were when he was just courting her? I don't know what year they got married, but it was someone in this picture, Bill and May, when they were going together, I think they got married sometime in the early 1920s. Joe Kane, uh, when they were children in Butte, lived on West Galena Street in Butte. Kane, who was one of the Kane doctors, Pat, Rich, and Joe Kane were doctors, and John was a dentist. And then John Kane and his wife, and I believe the other one might be Joe Kane's wife, but I'm not sure. Taken in the 19th, uh, was the dentist in the family. The other brothers were, were doctors, and there were two that worked for the Anaconda Company. And Butter Driscoll, uh, he was about maybe eight months old. Fritz is uh, two years old, probably when they well they lived over on on your grandma's house on uh, West Broadway Street. Mary and John O'Mara. Mary had been was Dr. Pat Kane's grandmother. When her husband, uh, husband who was Dr. Pat Kane's grandfather, when he died, she married this John O'Mara. Her, their their kids were uh, Molly O'Mara was one of the kids, and uh, she had a sister. Well, at about I'd say the age of twelve, he was born in 1897. So you can do the arithmetic in those days. This picture was taken on Grandma Driscoll's front porch again. Frank Flanagan, pretty much as uh, I and the other kids remember him, this was probably taken in the 1920s. Looked pretty much like this uh, up to the day he died, bald and mustached. John and and Kate Driscoll, uh, 
probably about the time they got married, so it was taken either. Driscoll is the one that was always sitting up on one of on Graham's furniture, and it's the way we always remember him, although he died when he was probably when he was going to the University of Montana, about 1914, I believe. He was a quarterback at the University of Montana, and uh, he was called to go to go to school down at Creighton sometime during that time, and he he went on to Creighton University to become a. a their dental school, uh, he was uh, eventually became a quarterback down there as well. So uh, the kind they took in those days, of, uh, when when Dad first went to the University of Montana, when he was 1915 or 16, right around there. Emma Driscoll and all of the grandchildren she would ever have, taken about 1934, inside of her house. Driscoll holding. Uh, Eddie Kane on, on our left and uh, Frankie Driscoll on the right. The two boys are Bob and Bill Driscoll and the boy on the right is uh, Paul Driscoll. That's great. Driscoll and Mary Lou Kane on the top, Sheila Kane and Bibbs Layden uh, down below. P. Kane, Francie Kane and uh, Virginia Layden down in front of them. It now shows Francie Kane in the rear and Bill Kane next to her. Virginia Layden in front of them, Paul Driscoll, Virginia Layden with uh, Danny Driscoll on her lap, and Paul Driscoll to her right, and Dick Kane to her left. Pat and Fritz Kane, taken not too long before he passed away. In Pat Kane holding the ba their first child, who was J.P. Kane, back in 19, holding her first child, John Patrick, or J.P. as we know him. I don't know where it was taken, probably out at the country club, uh, holding uh, Bibbs Layden's hand. Driscoll's front porch of J.P. Kane, taken about 1923. Fra Francie Kane, probably her graduation picture. Uh, I don't know what year that was. Uh, J.P. Kane, when he was at Annapolis, he decided he didn't like that and dropped out of there. Went to Lou Kane when she graduated. She's the second daughter. She was the first daughter and Francie was the second daughter. JP is the oldest. Boy. Army picture of Bill Kane when he was in the service and uh, he became a doctor and died at a rather young age. Probably his high school graduation picture. He's about a year younger than I am. Who was uh, the next younger boy than than uh, Bill Kane? He died at a young age. She married Mike Blinn, and uh, her kids all still live around this part of the country. Kane, when he was I don't know what would you say three years old. Mary Lou Kane, when she was just about two years old, probably taken on Grandma Driscoll's front porch. Who the boy is in it, but the the girl in the. Uh, Later, it's a, I believe it was Mary Lou, Kane, Mary Lou Kane. Family, this is Virginia and Bibbs on the left. Uh, Billy was Virginia's uh, Jim Layden and his mother Jewel. Uh, Bibbs and Virginia's to the left. And Billy was Virginia's uh, Layden holding J.P. Kane. Uh, Probably this picture was taken down on South Main Street. Uh, Billy Sullivan, uh, Virginia Layden's uh, child, who died probably ill with uh, Billy Sullivan, uh, taken out in front of her house. And he taken a Butter Driscoll when he was entertaining. This was cut out of a group of four in a barbershop court. Driscoll in the 1930s, uh, an entertainment promotion photograph. She ran for clerk of the court. By this time, she was Ethel O'Neill. When Butter Driscoll died, she married Bob O'Neill, uh, taken for uh, her running for office. But she married Butter Driscoll, and when he died, she married Bob O'Neill. Bob O'Neill died uh, when I was uh, 15 years old. She married uh, Ben Gordon. Uh, one of many uh, promotional pictures when when Dad was entertaining, he had these promotional pictures taken. Only taken sometime in the early 1920s. Uh, for whatever purpose. 
Henderson, before she married Butter Driscoll, um, taken, probably taken before 1920, um, but it might have been after they got married, I'm not really sure. Picture of Ethel uh, Driscoll af after they were married, probably sometime uh, in the 19th. What I see in Mom's pictures is that I see a little bit of her in, all, in everybody uh, in the family. With her three older boys, Jack, Bill, and Bob, uh, taken uh, in the in this picture, I believe, was taken at the end of the 1920s. And I'm not sure what house they were living in. It. Uh, 